everybody, this is Dave Cooper and we are at Frameclad SFS in Midlands, England. And I am standing with Martin Jameson, who's been in this industry for a long time. Martin, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Martin, tell us a little bit about what you do here at Frameclad. So at Frameclad, um, we start off, um, head up the technical and commercial side of the business. So that's from the inception of when inquiries come in, we look at um, the concept of how things are gonna be built. We put together a plan of what we're gonna price, we price it and send it off to the client. And then when we're successful, it comes back in and that goes into the design process, which we control in house as well. Mm -hmm. So it's everything and that in its life and its journey through before it comes to the plant. You've been in this industry for over 30 years? 30 years involved in, in light steel frame, yeah. In light yeah. steel frame. So you've seen a lot of changes over the years. Where do you see the future of steel framing moving forward? So in, in its time, in its 30 years, it's, it's gone from being a quite a sort of labor intensive manual operation with a lot of pre-cut, with cutting, very messy, very difficult, highly skilled work. And where we're, we're evolving to now is it's technology at the front end, the design, the, the technology inside, the modeling that brings us the ability to, to roll them through the Howicks, to pre-punch, to pre-cut, and bring it into a semi-skilled operation. Right. Uh, and that's a big plus at the moment in, in the UK, certainly, because skill shortages are, are coming up. Yeah. We've got a lot of uh, skill set in the industry that are dying off, um, retiring. So we need, we need products and we need um, equipment that's that's easy to train right. that we can re replace those skills with and, and this is that it gives sure. us that so you're you're using equipment that digitizes the process yeah speeds up the 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 build process the accuracy of the process yeah and it's allowing you to do all kinds of jobs all around correct yeah it, ta it takes the control off off the lads on the shop floor and, sure. and and brings it back into the technology which means it opens up markets we we not only supply just lenses of steel to people we'll supply Assemble panels, pre-boarded panels, full volumetric, full 2D panels, pre-finished, windows, and we're looking at services going in. So it opens up a lot of things which we can do in the factory right, and take right. it away from the site. Yeah, I mean, you're really adding value to the supply chain, yeah. right? Because now you have the ability to help others achieve their goals. You said volumetric, panelization, yeah. e even just the regular site builders that just want the panels on site. Yeah. And, and yeah. you guys are covering all of that now. Yeah, we feed into all of those. So it's, it's anybody from somebody building a shed for themselves, right through to, to high rise, to modular companies who we just supply the steel into. Right. And, and all of this is really possible using the machinery you're using. In your case, you're using the Howick machines. Yep. We're here for the uh, Steel Horizons event and learning so much about how the value of what they're doing with their machines and the data is helping you to be super successful. Yeah, definitely. And without that, without that sort of technology and the drive of the machines, is we'd, we'd struggle to, to meet the demands. Of what, right. We just couldn't get the labor to do it, sure. really. There you have it, everybody. Martin Jameson, thank you. We will see you next time. Coming to you from England. We'll see you at Steel Horizons. I'm Dave Cooper. Thanks for watching.